Well, I've looked at them, but I have a couple questions as far as the bonds. I mean, I, I went down and I toured the, uh, this afternoon I actually toured the wastewater treatment plant facility. And I have one word, horrendous conditions for anyone working down there or having to go there for any reason. It has been uh, completely neglected, in my opinion, by the town. And I, although it's a big money article, I definitely think it needs to get on there. And this board, with the help of the town manager, needs to somehow figure out some type of way to offset some of the cost. But it's definitely something that's got to get approved, and I would like to see it get approved for this town meeting. And if anyone has any doubt with the amount of money or the conditions of what should be done down there, I strongly urge to, uh, I think we're going to try to have some information put up on Channel 22. Yes. And I think closer to the town meeting date, there's going to be some tour dates <coughs> where anyone interested can go down. But at least if we have something up on the cable channel, if people can't make it down there, they really need to see for themselves the condition of it and what all those men down there working on a daily basis. And for, in my mind, I that would be the one big bond that i like to see move forward for the town warrant this year. So and are I, we discussing these individually? I think we should. The, the warrant articles. Yeah, we can. Should we go yes. through them one by one? I think we need to talk, yeah, because I'm not comfortable with that thing. Okay, well, let's let's do this then. Uh, the Church Street Main was zeroed out because it goes into the Warren article, if we have that. Correct, Miss? Yes? Yes, sir. So the first one would be the Bicentennial Seawall, which is 2,000, 2, 2,500,000. Five. That, that's, that's an estimate. That's an estimate. It's out to bid now. It's out to bid now. So do we want to go around and discuss these each individually? Yeah, so we can t talk about... That's good. So what is the current condition of the bicentennial wall right now? It's the, just been stabilized? Well, it's been stabilized because the board authorized about $185,000 worth of expense to put gigantic boulders in front of it right. to keep it stable. There's no base on the wall. It's just simply sitting on sand. If that sand should be washed out in the back, the wall will collapse and disappear. It fall into the ocean. Um, something needed to be done. It's a temporary measure to fix it, to, to keep the water from, to keep the ocean from the waves from, from deteriorating that wall and causing it to collapse. We forced it up against the embankment that it sits on and we're holding it there with those rocks. Uh, but eventually it's going to have to be replaced because there's no base to it. It was put in by the federal government, I believe, as part of the Coast Guard station. And um, that was a long time ago. Rusty? I think we've, we, we've, we've shorted up. I don't know if this year is the right time to do this or not. I, I, I like to see, as with Regina, uh, we've got to start work on the wastewater treatment plant. And um, if we could hold off for this for another year, um, I, I just think that would be m more prudent and uh, work more on the bond. Rick? Um, so uh, is that what we're doing here, not tonight, deciding if we're going to ask these to go forward? I mean, You I'm, can. Yeah. So what do you feel about that, Mr. Walsh? The wastewater treatment plant is... How about the... Uh, the, the, the wall? The wall. Well, we've, we've done the best we can to stabilize it. Mm -hmm. And as long as there is no catastrophic uh, storm, a class 5 hurricane or something of that nature, it's probably going to hold where it is, but we have to continue to be very watchful for it, and so we have to keep, continue to keep people off of, off of it because we don't want something to happen to them. We don't have a, uh, a good estimate of what it's going to cost. We're out to bid now, and we won't have that until the bids come back, which is closer to the end of the month. So that's going to be in time for the Warren article? Yes, sir, if, we, if you decide to put it on. Mm -hmm. so it's so, you know, I think it's a good idea. Uh, I think maybe with this one we need to wait until we do get that bid and take a look at maybe it's a good deal, maybe it's a, not as good a deal as we would think. And uh, We don't know that until we actually so receive the money. I'd like yeah. to see what the amount is for Mr. the bid. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I have uh, um, offered the recommendation and uh, uh, perhaps the course of action that Plosnick and Anderson, our auditors, 
will uh, plus up their contract. This was uh, at least two weeks ago. And uh, given the substantial amount of uh, infrastructure, dire need that we have, including the folks that are sitting back here, um, whose properties are substantially ruined and economically disadvantaged. Uh, and uh, I'm waiting for that um, uh, report from them uh, because it's tens and tens of millions of dollars. And needs like these folks have need to be prioritized at seawall. And uh, I don't have that. And I don't think that we will be following best practices in the absence of that. Uh, I don't think the Budget Committee can uh, get the information. Uh, there will be two bodies that are kind of doing a stab at the dark about gut feeling and emotion and piecemealing it. And I think that uh, with bonding rates, uh, with uh, a plus up of that contract, uh, they can uh, identify two or three different courses of action to include these uh, underwater streets at Jensen and Green and down at the main beach at Manchester that we've heard about tonight. Uh, and then I will be able uh, and be more fully prepared in the best interest, and I think the board and the budget committee, and we'll share that information to make these decisions. But to go piecemeal um, on two million here, four million there, um, I don't think that is uh, professional grade, and that's just my opinion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The um, <clears throat> I agree that probably we, we don't have enough information this now. It's not the year to do it. Maybe. It, it, it does. Be. It does seem to be stabilized. I'm down there all the time. Uh, the boulders seem to hold it. The, the wall. There is. The, the, the wall has no foundation whatsoever. What That's you correct. say. And if that wall were to give out, we'd have a worse flooding problem. In the early 1700s, there was no wall there. And there was a huge storm which opened that whole area up, and that's why we have Meadow Pond. If that were to happen again, we'll lose everything on, on High Street at that end. So, I mean, we're, we're talking about serious consequences if something d dire happens that we're not expecting. Right. They weren't expecting a storm in the 1700s. We're praying there won't be one now. Right. Uh, but if there is, and it gets behind that wall and, and takes that sand out from behind it, the wall's going to collapse. Yep. And the yeah. sand, the water is going to go right over it. Yeah. I'll have to say I agree with Phil about uh, taking w how we talked with um, the uh, people that did the audit. You know, he stated that we don't have enough um, stuff set up for to be depreciated yep. in the future, and maybe that is something that we need to think of. And if we could get some guidance there, you know, maybe we could make. Uh, some clearer judgments. Okay. So, yes. So could we actually set up a time and a place to do that so that we can, I mean, now it's going to be, you know, what Thanksgiving and, well, I'm just, as far as the Warren articles, I know we still have time, but I would to like to have all the information, whatever information we're going to obtain sooner rather than later so that we can figure out what we're going to do as a board and we can start to sell it because pretty soon it's going to be January before we know it and we're going to be running out of time. Well, we have to wait till we, we find out what Warren articles we're going to have until we start to sell them. Uh, that's right. why at this time of the year, this is when we look through and we look through the Warren articles and we decide which ones we're not going, we know we're not going to support. Okay. So if we can drop some of these things out as we go, that's what needs to be done. And, you know, after we're all done, then we can figure out what we're going to sell. So what are we, what are we doing with the bicentennial wall? Well, I think we've decided, when I heard here, we have, don't have all the information that we're going to have right, before that time meeting comes. We need to know what the, bond is, what the cost is going to be. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll, what's the next Just one? holding off or yeah. taking Hold it off? Yeah. But Hold as off. far yeah. as, I know, I understand we don't have enough information on the wall, but as far as what, what Selectman Bean is saying, if we're going to use those services. What, what services the are those? From, uh, uh, but auditing firms audit. What if, are they going to do? If I, if I may, and, and I've spoken with, if I may, Mr. Chairman? Yep. Thank you, sir. Uh, when Scott was in here from Plotznik and we reviewed the financials for 2016, he was specifically asked if their firm uh, offers additional services, and of course they do. This is tens of millions of dollars of infrastructure that I think without their guidance in terms of analysis, in terms of bond rate, in terms of working closely with finance and our public works and our town manager uh, and folks like this, that they can assemble a core of projects, have a tax impact and a collective 
group of infrastructure investment uh, that could be tens of millions of dollars. And then in a coherent manner, Mr. Chairman, and they, they do add this, they do more than auditing. They can provide that, they can sit in here, they can sit in here with finance, with per mostly public works and the town manager, and we can cohesively define infrastructure requisites that are going to address these problems, uh, a couple of more, and actually look at those tax impacts. Uh, it's been requested, but perhaps Mr. Welch can share some light on where we are in that, but I would think that that firm could do that uh, in a matter of a day. Uh, and come in here, say, by mid-December uh, and provide that input. But we probably have to sign some type of agreed-upon procedure or something like that, I would Yeah, imagine. they would plus up their contract, and I, I, I think right. it might cost $1,000, 2000 3000 I absolutely do. Yeah, we already have a contract with them. It's only a matter of adding conditions to the contract. So has has anybody talked with them about I mean, I don't, no, I don't is, is talking to them about it. Is talking to them. Yes, they are, actively. Is this something we can get done before we have to move move these warrant articles? Well, before you can move the bonding articles, I believe you should. Okay. I believe you should. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of... One of the big problems that towns in New Hampshire have is that the legislature many years ago passed a law forbidding sinking funds, depreciation, okay? So normally with utilities like, for instance, the wastewater treatment plant, sewer utilities, when you um, structure rates or whatever you're going to use, you include depreciation in there. That depreciation is put in the bank, allowed to earn interest, and when repairs need to be made, you don't have to go out and bond for them. You've got the money. We can't do that in New Hampshire except under special conditions. We need to find out how we do that. We need to find out under the law what we can do with depreciation funds, not sinking funds, and how we can try to structure this so that in the future the town doesn't have $40 million worth of emergency <laughs> appropriations right. to make. That's the name of the game. And uh, Plaza and Sanderson can do that for us because they're in that business. Okay. Know, so know how to do it. So we, th we're talking to the talk right now. We will have something in place. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to hear like what they say. What what should what would they recommend now? What would they recommend three years from now, and maybe five years from now? You know, not what p specific things, but what value dollar what amount dollar values you have yeah. yes. for the bonding. Right. For the bonding, I agree 100 percent. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I also agree with it's not just a financial decision on the wastewater treatment plant. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's no, 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 definitely. But I mean, yeah. so let's say they say, well, you should do 15 mil yeah. million. Yeah, yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah. And yeah. I think we should do that. And Whatever. if we can get that done, yeah. let's do it. We should be able to get that done. Okay. And I'd just like to make a statement on the wastewater treatment plant because, like uh, Regina, I went down there and took a tour last Friday. And first of all, the, the, the crew down there does a phenomenal job with what they have to work with. And they should be, every day, people should be thanking them because they do a phenomenal job with. with ancient stuff. And when you go down there and take a tour of that wastewater treatment, your eyes just bulge out. And that is the heart of the city, if you think about it. If the wastewater treatment plant doesn't work, nothing works, and nothing is going to go anyplace. And it's very, very important that we pay attention to that this year, and that we pay attention to what needs to be done down there. There are situations that people are working in, in life-threatening situations, that just is not right. It, the, the Pierce Wright uh, report gives us that. So we've got to pay attention to that, and I, I agree on the bonding. We should do it properly and get it done, and, and let's work on that absolutely. Right. So should we go through the other warrant articles that are not bonding? Right, but while we're on this discussion, is it okay if I bring up something that's in new business? Because what we're talking about sitting down with the auditors right now and figuring out what's a good way to financially spend money on bonds. Um, I've been looking... And we talked about a couple of weeks, last week, I guess, enterprise fees we talked about, Public Works brought it up. Yeah. Well, that was actually a Massachusetts statute. So I went on to NHMA, and I found um, in 2009 there was a publication, Basic Financial Policies yep. uh, Guide for New Hampshire Cities and Towns, <coughs> which I would like to, it looks like we're going to actually have to call and request this because it was sent, but we can we are unable to find it from 2009. But it says you can call and request. Yeah. So I'm assuming if we contact NHMA, because I would like to read that whole entire thing. I've started looking into the laws. And basically what it is, it's based on either the consumption of water 
or the amount of people that are served by the SOAR, by the SOAR premises. And what this, what I would really like to try to do for this town meeting is perhaps have the town manager come up with some type of a generic warrant article that would simply authorize us as selectmen in the town manager's office that would be approved by the town to start researching this and figuring out if it's something that could or could not work for Hampton, something we've never done before, but what it does is it would put money aside every year so that we could start building up for some of these uh, SOAR so our anticipation costs, well, they're not really anticipated. We know that we got $41 million, but it's going to be ongoing with the drainage problems we have with everything. So while we're talking about Warren articles, I really just figured I'd bring that up right now. I uh, want to do a little bit more research on it, but I think it's something that really the town needs to consider, and I think we want to get the townspeople on board this year as opposed to doing research and then trying to explain everything next year so that they sort of have a... Uh, a, um, they could know what we're trying to do ahead of time so that maybe that will perhaps whatever we decide to do for a bond will make it easier for them to say yes to it knowing that we are trying to put some additional uh, offsets in place so, does that sound okay yeah <laughs> I agree so were there only those two bonding articles I don't have my list with me uh, there were three, Church Street Force Main, which yeah. the board has said they're not going to consider. Yeah. The Bicentennial Seawall and the Wastewater Treatment Plant. Okay. Those are the only ones. Okay. So as far as the Wastewater Treatment Plant that I wanted to comment, I'm, I, I think that we should have it to be 13.8 uh, 13 million, which is the estimate. I realize that, um, that it would be nice to put more. But right now, those are the numbers we have. I think we should stick to it and then come up with something again next year or the year after. Um, that's going to be part of that whole bonding yes. issue, the whole yes. depreciation, the whole thing. Right. So I, I think we can hold up and, and, mm -hmm. and wait until we get yeah, that. Yeah, if they came and said, well, it should be this much, well, then I would be okay. willing to reconsider Good. that. All right, so the other ones, the non-money articles, Anybody want to want to put those forward? Yeah, why don't we go over them one by one? Okay, all Say service. Some of them we're going to recommend, and some of them we're not going to want okay, to. Okay, all service veterans credit. Yes. Yes. All right. All in favor with a motion yeah, and a can vote on it. Okay. Yeah. Five. Harbor dredging and restoration article. That's, that's make the motion. That's yeah, I'll make the motion. I'll, I'll second it. Okay. Favor. Yeah. Unanimous. Kino. So moved. Second. Yep. Favor? Election of officers. Oh, that's required by law. <laughs> Zoning articles. We don't have them yet. <laughs> All right. Conservation, and now we're going to annual appropriation articles. Conservation Land Acquisition Fund, $20,000. That's every year, right? Every year we've been appropriating that, yes. So moved. Second. All in favor? All right. Household hazardous, hazardous waste collection, 15000 down to 10000 10000 is what we've been spending with the state aid, and I, I would recommend you continue so with that. So moved. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Human service agencies. So moved. We've heard from all of them, correct? I have heard from all of them, and there is a cut because one of them, we're down from $175,000 because one of them has lowered their costs, okay. which was a good thing. They got more federal aid. Okay, so... Moved by Rick, seconded. All in favor? Highway block grant, the 316,231 rather than the 565. The reason? The 316,231 is the exact amount the state is going to give us for that work. That will allow us to sort of lay off the Im impact and the tax rate. We are running out of streets to do that don't have uh, sewers we can pave over. So we, we're going to have to start working on which streets we can do in conjunction with replacing the sewer lines. Okay. All in, uh, so moved. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Uh, police forfeiture special revenue fund. So moved. Second. All in favor? DPW vehicle purchases. So moved. How much is it? Five, five, I'm sorry, 522000 
They're going to start by replacing some of the one arm or the side two arm pack. Two, yeah. yeah, two arm. Two side arm, arm packers. Yeah. And uh, they got the yard horse and. We have another large plow truck that needs to be yeah. replaced. I, I'm just going to hold off until I hear from Plotsnick and Anderson on any any money issues of that that nature, Mr. Chairman. Are we going to be hearing from them on that stuff? Is that part of that? Well, well it's not a uh, half a million. That's yeah. We can. I, I want to. can wait. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to hear it in context with okay. the need. Okay. Fine. We're holding off on that. Recreation infrastructure special revenue fund one hundred thirty one thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars. I'll make a motion. All in favor? Unanimous. Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund, three hundred thousand dollars. So moved. That's the one we do every year, right? Yeah, that's, that's correct. Good. All in favor? Uh, sidewalks, fifty thousand. So moved. Second. All in favor? Fire Department pickup, fifty-one thousand. So moved. Second. All in favor? Cool. Uh, total annual pre well, it's not the same because we've no, taken a lot out of there. Up. Yeah. Okay. So now we have five corners intersection improvements. Not the year to do it. Yeah, I agree. It would be wonderful to be able to do it, but this is probably not the year. Probably not the year. I mean, I agree a hundred percent. It would be a hundred percent that we should do it, but we have a lot of bigger stuff. We do. Uh, so anybody move that or just leaving it as it is? Okay. Okay. Uh, sewer aeration basin and clarifier rebuilds. That's part of the sewer plant project. That's Should part of it. All right. So we're going to. All right. Uh, maintenance of historic structures, 20000 That's the blacksmith shop. It needs to have a foundation put underneath it so that we can replace the rotten boys that are holding the building up. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Tuck. Field offices and storage. That's no, been not zero. The year. Not the year. Okay. Uh, replace lighting DPW garage. We're going to do that out of the regular budget, budget for the, the garage. We're starting to already work on that. Okay. Lock road sewer replacement. That's part of the no. No, actually, the you skip Molten Road and Lock Road, but they're both they're both sewer replacement projects. All right. Quite frankly, my I, I listed them as zero because I believe that we have to have a sewer plant to send the material to. Absolutely. Before we start building new lines to send it there. Absolutely. The, the lines are working, but do need to be replaced. Okay. Replace solid waste compactor. We're going to ask the board to uh, give us, assuming the funds are available, they look like they will be at the end of the year to replace it out of this year's budget. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to go through the total because that's changed. Lease purchase article, tower bucket bucket ladder truck. That's for the fire department. $1,500,000. Yeah, they're not inexpensive, unfortunately. I Personally, I don't think we, at this point in time, we need that vehicle. I think there's a lot of other things that, first of all, we need manpower down there more than we need a vehicle like that. Right. Um, you know, we're, we're doing double ambulance calls, triple ambulance calls all the time. I think we really need to start to look at the manpower on that. You know, if we put, uh, there are some grants out there, safer grants. Yep. They'll help pay for part of this. And I would rather see us put a warrant article that would say that we're going to hire four people and, and minimum man. Because if you hired four people, that would put ten, 10 on a shift. At that point in time, you could have five people at the beach. You could run a second ambulance out of the beach without having to wait for coverage. I think uh, the people down the beach have asked for that a number of times, and I think we ought to start looking at that versus trying to buy this ladder truck at this time, where if you bought this ladder, you still don't have the manpower to run it. Okay, so. Well, I think Rusty knows what he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, and I 100% agree with him. Okay. So could we could we possibly have the fire chief come back with a with a warrant article? If can he look for some grant money out there? If we that's ask him. the will of the board. I'd like to make that motion that we do that, see okay, if he can okay. bring that back and uh, see what we can do about manpower. I know we've we had, I, we, we've heard here a number of times how many double and triple ambulance calls we've had mm -hmm. and, and they're not getting the coverage to come back. And okay, how many no. times we've had other towns yeah. outside coming in to cover our ambulance. And I think it's now we time we start looking at that. Okay. Well, let him bring in figures so we yep. can talk well, that's about it. Okay. So, so it was moved by Rusty, okay. seconded by Regina. All in favor? All right. 
unanimous. Uh, Beach Street light uh, res, uh, articles paid by unreserved fund balance. Beach Street lighting at one hundred thousand dollars. We started that program and stopped the program about ten years ago. Uh, we did A Street, B Street, and part of uh, Ashworth Avenue. Uh, the lighting is ten times better than what we get from the private vendors, and the cost is ten percent of what we pay, pay the utility because we are just paying kilowatt hours instead of everything else. Uh, and the protection and, and the security for the buildings is far in excess of what the professional street lighting we purchased from the utilities is concerned. So uh, we had originally been saving $100,000 a year to put towards that, but we town meeting changed that to put towards uh, park and recreation facilities, so we're, we're gradually getting those rebuilt. My suggestion is that we start back on this program so that we can uh, put proper lighting and protection on the other beach streets. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Uh, study articles and engineering articles. Study town flooding issues. 100,000. I, I like to actually make a recommendation on this. Could we have this come out of the unassigned fund balance as well? You can. Could I make that motion here tonight? How much is uh, is it? Hundred thousand. Now, how do you get? How do you come up with the uh, that amount? One hundred thousand. It's a guess. It could be ten million. There's, there's, there's no way of knowing is the problem. You've got to start someplace, and a hundred thousand dollars was funds that we have available if you want to take them from surplus. Either that, or we would need to hire an engineering firm to study it to tell us how much this article should be. So what we're, what we're doing with this? We're starting the program. Starting the program. Right. To come up with a report of the exact way to do it? Correct. Correct. This is an engineering report. All right. And if it comes out of the unassigned fund, we start. We can start at the town meeting. It, it has to be appropriated by town meeting. Oh, it has to be, still be appropriated on a warrant article. That's correct. Okay. Yep. And yeah. it um, has to, this is the amount so that we're going to be looking for both the beach area and, and the gentian area. Correct. Yeah. yeah, both areas. Yeah. Because we're likely to, you know, we're, when we go there, um, I, you know, I'm, it would be wonderful if they could just come up with an idea of how we can fix it. Mm -hmm. But frankly, I don't think that that's going to happen. I think we're going to be looking for advice of what we need to recommend to these people. You know, what is everybody's responsibility? The town might have some responsibility, right. but there's going to be responsibility on all sides, I think. Yes, here. there is. So we no need question. to come up with some type of a program and yep. something that people can really understand what has to be done. And that's why we left it open just to flooding issues, because mm -hmm. you're correct. There are going to have to be some things done on private property. There's going to be some things done on public property. We're going to, this is going to be a shared expense no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. So this, so that and, and King's Highway train, drainage would come out of unassigned fund balance. If that's the way the board would like to do it. The King's Highway drainage is actually the engineering work to design that drainage system. Okay. So we can get to the back side of, the, of uh, Merrill Pond. Okay. The method to my madness when I opted to put a lower amount aside to offset the tax rate was in hopes that Mr. Welch has already done about what two hundred thousand to come out. Correct. And so that brings us up to this eight fifty. And I already have that paid for, and we haven't even put any money on it. So right. Sure. So yeah. another hundred thousand, we would still be below the million. Right. So I think that we should be able to afford that. Correct. We, we should be able to do that. So if you made a motion, I'll make that motion. Yes. Second. All in favor? All right. Opposed. Uh. And that included the King's Highway drainage, yes? Are we, gonna we haven't talked motion? about that yet. All right, King's Highway drainage. I'll make the motion. Okay, so now what's that? How much is that? That's 80000 for the engineering. The, it would be a composite system. Uh, it would go from Winneconnet Road. There would be a drain system built up King's Highway to 12th Street. From 12th Street to High Street, there is already an old sewer main there that we can clear. That we can clean out. There is a pump station there, so we can pump the water from High Street 
all the way down to the end of uh, Kings Highway and get rid of it at the end of the beach or the end of the uh, uh, the, uh, the marsh, the end of Eel Creek, if you want to put it that way. Uh, the whole idea is to allow that flow to occur so we can take water out of the upper end, which is not now moving fast enough. Plus, we can also clear up all the drainage on Kings Highway. Yeah, because I just want to make sure that whatever we do here, we do it hopefully the right way because this has already been – these pe we've the taxpayers have already been asked to, to spend, I believe, was it $2 million or $4 million, mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't work. Yeah. I this, hate to see that happening. This is the engineering money to make it work. And, and instead of looking at what you were looking at, we were just talking about that where the town spent $12 million – without a single set of plans to go ahead and put sewer in something. We're not like that. We, we, we can't do that. We need to have a concrete set of plans and a concrete way to make the system work or it doesn't get built. Mm -hmm. No sense wasting the money for something that won't work. Just It's just not necessary. So this engineering money will allow us to build that system and require it to work. And wasn't when that $12 million was spent, there was a separate there were $12 million spent, and then there was separate money spent on King's Highway. There was. There was another million-plus dollars spent on that end of town. <clears throat> Which did the sewer, not the drainage. That's though, right? correct. But there's really no difference. You're still moving liquids. Right. But, uh, but you want to move them right because you've got to move them right. And that's what abandoned that sewer station and abandoned all that piping up there. Now, we can clean that and use it. And the sewer station, I've had it checked. It's in good operating condition. It can do what we want it to do. Great. So moved. So moved. Second. All in favor? Unanimous. Uh, reconstruction of uh, funds from capital reserve. Re reconstruction of portion of Lafayette Road, total to be appropriated from taxes zero. It's one one point five million. And the total to be appropriated from taxes is zero. Right. Total from capital reserve fund is one point five million. And we approximately have one point six million on that fund at the current time. We're going. To, you just recommended a warrant article for the three hundred thousand, which we've been doing each year. That will finish the uh, Lafayette Road construction because we have to improve the drainage there. This will improve the drainage, the sidewalks, the curbing, and will repave the entire, rebuild and repave the entire roadway. So moved. Second. All in favor? Okay. Any other Warren articles? D could I bring up the enterprise funds, SOAR funds? I would really like if it's if the board could uh, approve that Mr. Welch prepare a uh, generic Warren article for that. I, if I may help out, um, selecting Mr. Chairman, uh, I, I think that the proper motion or instruction would be um, based on our, our conversation last week and, and what we all agreed was uh, a dire need that uh, the town council through the town manager and public works director prepares a warrant uh, uh, to, pr to send to the voters for the appropriate amount of dollars that will be a, a study um, to uh, execute that phenomenon, which is the uh, value enterprise system for sewer, um, for a follow-on election year warrant article. Is that a motion? Yes, sir. Second. All in favor? Okay, good. So well, we'll we have throw. two others that we talked about back when we first started talking about warrant articles when the uh, town clerk wanted to come in for a, a new uh, uh, full-time right. person, and, and we I, asked him to put that on a warrant article. And I have that article. Yep. You give it to right. Us. So... Uh, should we talk about that now? I mean, that's one of the articles there. The also one is the other one for the uh, uh, part-time paralegal. So I'll make a motion that we do the uh, full-time town clerk assistant. Second. All in favor? Okay. And if I may, just a, a quick discussion. Uh, were there uh, numbers on that? Yeah, 44,662. That's for the 39 weeks for the rest right. of the year. And then it would go next year. So, so it would go. Do we have the figure for what? Uh, Fifty-nine thousand. Okay. So, discussion. All in favor? Opposed? And Second one. The one for the part-time paralegal for town council. Uh, the thirty-nine weeks is uh, twenty-one thousand fifty-six dollars 
uh, full uh, 52 weeks is 28,000. So the actual we'll raise and appropriate this year will be $21,057. I'll pay uh, a motion. Second. I'll second. And I just want to clarify that includes all health expenses and everything, correct? Uh, that's part time, so there's no. Oh, no that's right. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, so, right. yeah. Moved. Seconded. All in favor? Opposed? None. Warren articles? There'll be more. <laughs> okay, but we don't have any more right now. Not at the moment, no. And we're going to work on that bond. Yes, sir, we are. Okay. And they were just, but we just voted to. Uh, to bring these forward, these that aren't the votes yep. of support. Yeah. Right. right, absolutely, right, absolutely. 